Well, joining us once again for the weekly entertainment panel is Abby St. John. Abby, there's, you know, of course, the Disney Plus spinoff series we've all heard about with WandaVision and, of course, some other series as well. Hawkeye finally started production this week in New York, including adding some very big names, including, including Haley Steinfeld, who is going to play the co-lead uh, co with Jeremy Renner there. But there's also a few other names that are added to that list as well. Yeah, uh, it's really exciting news, especially for Haley Steinfeld's character. Uh, it's been speculated, um, or it's been speculated since last year that she was going to be playing Kate Bishop in the new Hawkeye series alongside um, uh, Jeremy Renner, who plays Clint Barton, who is currently the main Hawkeye. Now, in the comic books, we all know that Kate, Kate Bishop takes over for Hawkeye. Um, so that's a, that's kind of what we're seeing here. There's been several photos being released of Haley Steinfeld with Jeremy Renner on set wearing Kate Bishop's Hawkeye outfit. So uh, it's pretty safe to say that that's been confirmed, that she is playing that role. And I think that's very exciting. Now, another exciting role that uh, uh, was seen in the comic books is not a, a human, but in fact a dog. There is a picture of Jeremy Renner, Haley Steinfeld, and a golden retriever um, walking. Um, and people are speculating that that is Lucky the pizza dog, who in the comic books was rescued by Clint Barton. So that's also really exciting to see that there's going to be a dog kind of implemented into the MCU and it's exciting to see how that goes and it's also exciting that this is all coming together and that we're definitely seeing the next phase and the next steps into the MCU with um, Haley Steinfeld taking over for Hawkeye. We're also going to see many other um, superheroes being taken over uh, with Black Widow and Ant-Man of course. We're going to see more of that in the future so it's exciting news for the MCU and I'm excited to see what Haley Steinfeld does with Kate Bishop's character. And one of the most other noble names in that uh, announcement is Florence Pugh, also going to be whose who's Black Widow character is going to be in that series as well. Now, uh, the Oscars 2021 is coming up fairly soon in a couple of months here. You know, nominations are not released, but of course there was talks. How are they going to do it? Are they going to do it virtually? But they're pushing for an in-person view. So if they do that in-person ceremony, how is it going to work? Well, it's all very up in the air as of right now. They don't have any concrete plans yet to make it a live event. They, of course, like you said, they want to make it and they're pushing for it because the Oscars is a major night in for Hollywood. Um, they are exploring the possibility of making it an in-person at the Dolby Theater. It seats about 3,400 3, 3, people. Um, and so they're going to see what they can do um, to get people in there. Now, they did push back the Oscars two months to April 25th in hopes that theaters will reopen, which will allow more movies to be nominated. But they still need to figure out how um, how practical it will be to have an in-audience um, award show, especially since, you know, a lot of actors are of older age, like Meryl Streep, uh, and a lot of other actors and actresses um, are more susceptible to getting COVID. So it's going to be interesting to see what they do and if they will do go forward with the live um, show, how that's going to look and how that's going to work, especially since other award shows have gone the virtual route, um, having the hosts there and, you know, performances uh, there, but then having people watch virtually from home. So it's going to be interesting to see what they do. Absolutely. And lastly, just to end off here on a positive note here, Elliot Page announced this week that he is now coming out as trans. It's a very big deal for the uh, LGBTQ plus community, especially in Hollywood there, Abby. But uh, just I just want your thoughts on on this announcement there from Elliot. Yes, I think this is a very exciting um, thing to come out, especially this year after everything that's been going on. Um, Elliot Page, he, he's known for his roles in Juno, Inception, and Netflix's Umbrella Academy, and has recently shared that he is a, gen, a transgender male. Um, he, he came out as gay back in 2014, and that was really big for the LGBTQ plus community, especially at that time. But now moving forward, it's very exciting that um, he made this announcement and, you know, kind of made 2020 end off on a very nice note. Um, he took to social media with the announcement um, with in a lengthy Instagram post and he wrote, I feel lucky to be writing this to be here to have arrived at this place in my life. He, you know, following the statement, he has received so much support from fans, 
from other uh, celebrities and of course from the official uh, Umbrella Academy Twitter page. Uh, they did tweet out that uh, we are so proud of our superhero. And now it's also nice to note that he will continue his character on the Umbrella Academy who he plays a cis uh, gender female and he's going to remain in that character. Um, and I think that's also a really exciting um, thing to be happening that nothing's going to be affected by his announcement. and. I think it's also something that we needed to hear um, just to finish off this year. I think that's awesome news, very exciting. And, you know, it just adds more support um, to the community as a whole. Absolutely. Well, it's great on him that he did that. Abby St. John, thank you so much. Thank you.